Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. During this time, ASML is flexing its muscles and promoting its high NA Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography machine as a must have for chip manufacturers to participate in the artificial intelligence boom. As the first company to launch this lithography machine, Intel also indirectly supported ASML and even revealed the details of the installation video one by one. It is not difficult to see that both ASML and Intel are very interested in this cutting-edge EUV lithography machine. However, what was unexpected was that ASML was quickly poured cold water on it. Because in their so-called must-have promotion of the artificial intelligence boom, one major American manufacturer did not buy it. In the context that the nano-semiconductor printing equipment launched by Canon is aimed at ASML's EUV lithography machine market, Micron stood up and publicly stated that they planned to first support Japan's Canon's lithography equipment and intended to use this to further reduce production DARM the cost of flash memory. In other words, in Micron's plan, they plan not to use ASML's cutting-edge lithography machine, but to use Canon's lithography machine. I don't know what other manufacturers think, but as far as Micron itself is concerned, it has ushered in a moment to replace the EUV lithography machine in the hands of ASML. Moreover, if nothing else, Micron's plan will greatly promote Japan's Canon and ASML to further seize the market. First of all, there are still two doubts about the new lithography equipment launched by Canon. The first is whether it can be mass-produced this year, and the second is whether it can be recognized by market customers. To be honest, both of these are challenges that Canon needs to face. After all, the newly launched lithography equipment is uncertain in terms of actual performance and operation. If no customer dares to be the first to try it, then even if Canon has the best equipment, it will not be recognized by the market. Mass production is also an important factor. Now is a critical moment for large-scale core manufacturing. If Canon's production capacity cannot keep up, other companies may not be willing to place orders for Canon. But it will be different if there is this first person who dares to eat crabs. Micron dares to use it. So why don't other companies dare to use it? What's more, Canon has clearly stated that their equipment can help manufacturers reduce the cost of producing chips, which is tempting enough. Coupled with the presence of a major American manufacturer, this gives Canon more market opportunities. And if there are orders, Canon will try its best to seize this market, and promoting mass production is also a natural behavior. The two major challenges may have collapsed in Micron's plan, giving Canon more opportunities for upward development. And ASML is not without any shortcomings now. Although it is indeed the leader in the EUV market in terms of lithography machine technology, many companies have revealed openly or covertly that ASML's equipment is too expensive. Take the currently released high NA lithography machine as an example. That's as high as 2.9 billion. And the installation cycle is long, taking a full half a year. For many companies that are in urgent need of production, this timeline does have some manufacturers. Especially now under the AI boom, HBM business is booming there will be more manufacturers, etc. Can't afford ASML's cutting-edge lithography machine. In addition, some major chip foundry manufacturers 
are clearly increasing their production capacity in the Japanese semiconductor market, one of which is TSMC. China does not rule out that TSMC will adopt the principle of using Canon's photolithography machines. After all, the operating and construction costs of setting up a factory in Japan are several times higher than those in the local area. If it can save a lot of money in the production of chips, TSMC may not consider it. In short, Micron may have broken the deadlock of Canon's lack of corporate adoption to a certain extent, and it can easily cause a positive reaction and bring more orders to Canon. In my opinion, it is a good thing to have more competitors in the EUV lithography machine market, especially since this competitor wanted to ship to the Chinese market in the past. Perhaps Canon will bring a turnaround in the shipment of cutting-edge lithography equipment to China. How do you view this matter? Welcome to leave comments, like and share this. In order to suppress China's high-tech industry, the United States has used various methods. First, it made the lithography machine giants ban the sale of high-end lithography machines to China. Second, the United States personally imposed sanctions on domestic semiconductor giants, such as SMIC and Huawei. Now I find that it doesn't seem to be working, because Huawei chips are coming again. So the United States now wants to play a big role. According to reports, the United States is putting pressure on ASML and Japanese lithography machine companies asking them to stop repairing lithography machines in China. But neither ASML nor Japan paid much attention to this request from the United States. In fact, it makes little sense for the United States to do this now, because ASML has not sold high-end lithography machines to China. Mid- and low-end lithography machines have been domestically produced. The Kirin chips used in Huawei's Mate 60 series are the most powerful proof. If ASML and if Canon stops repairs, wouldn't that mean it's ruining its own job? In order to strangle China's high-end semiconductor industry, the United States has paid a huge price, and the end result is to accelerate China's self-sufficiency in high-end chips. However, Huawei will make the United States even more helpless, because the Huawei P70 series is about to be released, and it is a brand new Kirin chip. It is manufactured by SMIC, and its performance is more powerful than Kirin 9000s.